This luxury yacht is powered by the sun. The solar panels actually allow us to independently recharge the battery banks without using any kind of engine. Super yachts are a must-have for today's rich and famous. Billionaires like Jeff Bezos own some of the world's largest yachts. There were over a thousand super yachts under construction or on order in 2022. And at the start of 2023, there were over 5,500 super yachts in the world's oceans and seas. But while glamorous, the boating industry takes a huge environmental toll and often pollutes our waterways. That's why some companies are turning to solar panel electrification. Electric yachts are the new generation of, of yachting. I believe that electric yachts is a stepping stone into the future using alternative energy sources than fossil fuel. 100% of our fleet is electric. Everybody knows that it's not a niche anymore. It is the new mass market. CNBC headed to the Cannes Yachting Festival to get an inside look at two companies who built solar-powered electric yachts. We dive into the challenges that the company's solar technology faces and explore whether it could play a role in the future of maritime transportation. Super yachts are loosely defined as leisure boats that are at least 100 feet long, and wealthy Americans absolutely love them. 24% of yachts over 131 feet long are owned by Americans, and 30% of new buyers come from North America. The global fleet has rapidly grown since 1987, and today it's more than six times the size, with over 600 new super yachts being built this year. Motorized super yachts, which are often powered by diesel or gas, dominate the market making up to 85% of the global fleet, but less than 2% of today's boats are electric. Now there's an alternative, yachts powered by the sun. We design, engineer, and produce solar-powered catamarans. With the solar panels, the energy is being stored in the batteries, and then we can use the battery power to propel the boat. Silent Yachts is an Austrian-based company that was founded in 2009 by Michael Kohler and his wife, Heike. It builds solar-powered electric yachts from the ground up and often refers to itself as the Tesla of the seas. When we started building these yachts, many other boat builders told us there is no need for such a yacht. And at that time, nobody thought about solar panels. In the same way as it happened with Tesla and the, and the car industry, all the other manufacturers found out that it's not really a bad idea to reduce the consumption of diesel, and on the other hand, harvest the free energy from the sun. In its shipyards in Italy and Turkey, the company builds yachts up to 120 feet long. Since its inception, it's delivered nearly 20 fully electric yachts and currently has over 30 yachts in production. We have a very strong order book uh, of 160 million. The price range of our yachts is from 3.2 million euro for the 60 or 62 starting price and goes up to almost 30 million for a Silent 120 fully equipped. Another competitor in this space is Sunreef Yachts, which incorporates integrated solar panels into their super yachts. The Polish-based company has been building yachts for over 20 years, and its clients include high-profile athletes such as tennis star Rafael Nadal and Formula One driver Fernando Alonso. We are doing practically everything in-house, so we are doing a lot of engineering in-house, but as well we are doing the stainless steel, we are doing the wood, we are doing the composite, we are doing the electrical system. Sunreef is based in Gdańsk, Poland, where it has two shipyards. It builds fuel-powered super yachts as well as sailing and power eco yachts, ranging from 50 to 114 feet. The eco yachts use a solar-powered system with an electric or hybrid motor. Today at the shipyard, we have 60 boats at the same time being built. The price range really depends on the customization of the yacht, but we can say that smallest boat is around 1.5 million euro and on the upper range there is no really limit so the most expensive boat that we have sold is around 60 million euro. The company has a third shipyard in the United Arab Emirates and is currently expanding to mega yachts. It says 50% of its current yacht production is electric or eco. To date, Summary has built over 300 yachts with 30 being fully electric. 
In 2022, the company said it had a turnover of $188 million and is forecasted to hit $262 million in 2023. As the yachting environment is busy changing and we're looking to find alternatives to fossil fuel and combustion engines, batteries are becoming better and better, quicker to charge, and carries a lot of calories to be able to supply power to these massive vessels. Welcome aboard the vessel Stella of the Seas. It's a Silent 62, a full, full solar electric catamaran. We have in total 42 solar panels on this boat. Some of them are located in the front area of the roof, some of them in the aft area. The boat has got two electric motors, which are powered by a battery bank. And the battery bank is actually recharged by the solar panels. This boat has a top speed of up to 30 knots, but the most efficient cruising speed would be between 6 and 8 knots. Both companies use a similar technology where the solar panels harvest energy to recharge the battery. The lithium batteries are located in the hull of the boat and propel the vessel. On board, the batteries also power the air conditioning system, lighting, and cooking amongst other day-to-day -day things. Each vessel has a backup diesel generator. Normally a generator is running 24-7, as we can see on the other boats. Our generator is running a few hours per week, not per day. On an electric boat, what you have is you, you run all of your house hold off the batteries and the inverters. This is the big benefit because the, the inverters, they don't make a noise. They don't make fumes. Silent Yacht says its batteries, which run at 800 volts, range from 143 kilowatt hours to 800 kilowatt hours. It claims its boats have an unlimited range. And in cases where the sun isn't shining, the backup diesel generator automatically recharges its lithium batteries. So if you think about it, it's about, let's say, between two and eight times what you have in a big electric car. The efficiency of the batteries is around 95% or higher. On the 80 Sunreef Power Eco, the batteries range from 400 kilowatt hours to almost one megawatt hour. The range of a solar yacht depends on several factors, including the weather conditions and traveling speeds. Of course, there is a time where you can be in a place where the sun is not enough strong. So all of the boats today are back up with a diesel generator. But thanks to the solar panel, we can say that we are really, really on the good way to get uh, zero emission. Silent Yacht sources its solar panels from SunPower, while Sunreef makes its in-house. The goal of the solar panel was to be able to integrated them into the hull, into the structure of the boat. So we had a big challenge. We needed them to be very strong. We needed them to be very light and very efficient. The solar panel on our boat, thanks to their strength, can be located anywhere in the boat, even on curved surfaces, on the hull side. And according to Silent Yachts, the technology is mostly maintenance free. Suppliers of the solar panels, they give you a warranty of 25 years and they don't have any moving parts. The electric motors, they are maintenance free. So really the only thing that you would need to maintain on the boat are heat exchangers and the backup generator, which is very limited. So could this solar technology developed on yachts be used on bigger vessels such as cargo and cruise ships? These vessels burn fuels that emit harmful chemicals like carbon dioxide, nitrogen oxides, and sulfur oxides into the air. They also contribute to water pollution. It's estimated that a cruise ship will create at least 130 gallons of hazarded waste each voyage. An illegal bilge tank dumping accounts for tens of thousands of gallons of oily water being released into the seas. I believe that electric yachts and electric motors would be the main propulsion of pleasure yachts, and even cargo vessels in the near future. Our technology could be uh, taken, of course, for some of the big applications like cargo ship, like big ship. It's just about size and having them bigger. There will always be the benefit of adding solar and also of adding other sources of power that could be wind. You see a lot of cargo ships that are now putting up uh, the wind. Passenger ferries have already started adopting electric power sources. 
In Sweden, two 364-foot ferries have been converted from diesel engines to battery-powered. Each ferry has 640 batteries that weigh nearly 200 pounds each. But the technology poses additional challenges for larger commercial vessels, especially ones looking to use solar. We think there is a sweet spot for solar electric boats between 50 and like 120 feet. Once you make the boats a lot bigger, the advantage of solar diminishes because you, you have a limited amount of power. The market is showing that electric yachts do have their place in the market, but that alternative energy sources like a, a hydrogen would be able to allow our vessel to go further. While solar technology hasn't been implemented in the world's biggest vessels, it's still a growing industry. For solar-powered boats alone, the market is projected to grow to $2.4 billion by 2031, a 14% growth from 2022. Thanks to the solar panel, we can say that we are really, really uh, on, the, on the good way to get uh, zero emission. There is really only advantage to the electric boating, especially if the energy that you are using is coming from, from the sun. The future of electric yachting, it's very bright because the technology that's involved is rapidly developing. We have the next generation of actually solar panels coming to the market, the next generation of electric batteries coming to the market, and the next generation of electric motors. The advantage, which is already there of electric yachting, will become bigger and bigger. It will actually be outcompeting traditional technology ever more.